Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I would like to make a quick review about the racket that I just bought. And this is the Technic Fibre T5 Isoflex 280. So it comes with a few options actually. They have the lightest one is 255 gram up to 315 gram for the heaviest one. And the reason why I chose the 280 gram is because I need a racket that gives me more comfort for my hand because I'm having an issue with my tennis elbow and as you can see they have implemented the isoflex technology uh, which supposedly will give you more comfort in terms of absorbing the pressure from your opponents uh, when you're doing the volleys or when you return back the stroke and beside that they have as well the rsc section which is um, uh, pretty much a technology that will give you a balance between powers and control and the length of this record is 27 inch uh, it's pretty standard uh, with a 100 square inch uh, head size the heaviest one start from 300 grams above will have a little bit smaller head size which is 98 uh, square inch which also give you more control um, in terms of the cosmetic I can say this racket is pretty uh, simple but it's very beautiful I can say it's all white made colors a few graphic and a few logos a very minimalistic uh, in terms of painting it's just plain white and uh, after we give it after we string it hopefully uh, we can give it a try and see whether it really fits with the information that is given in the website and the price for this record is around probably uh, in the in US dollars probably around 280 or 275 something like that in Indonesia it's around 3.5 million here and as you can see I already string it with a 52 tension with a polyester string it's uh, pretty basic uh, I need it just to make sure this racket really fit into my game which is I needed uh, a racket that still have a control but yet it's not too heavy so it won't hurt my wrist and also my elbow and as soon as I get back in the court I give it a try for a few service so at that time what I felt is that this racket is really easy to be used very friendly uh, it's almost a similar feeling with the uh, Pebble Pure Drive that I used to play with and also uh, Yonex E-Zone I think Yonex E-Zone will give you more uh, friendliness feeling but this um, Technic Fibre I can say the sweet spot is quite easy to to be found after a while you still need to have get used to it for a few times then uh, you will get you will find the sweet spot of this racket and I also do a couple of strokes with it and for a one-handed backhand like me I think this racket is really really good you know I mean, it's like their stiffness and uh, control is very easy I, I like the feel of this racket better than the pure drive that I tried before and beside that uh, in terms of absorbing the isoflex which is mean have the flexibility of uh, absorbing the stroke from your opponents um, after a couple of strokes, I found, uh, yeah, they're slightly uh, different from the previous T5 that I tried. So this one is really give you the comfort to that level. And when I do a volleys, uh, the sweet spot is really uh, big, I can say, it's really nice. Even when I uh, hit around the side of the frame, at the edge of the frame, it's still, uh, the ball is still goes in. I, I can felt that I can still control the ball even though it's not really hit in the in the sweet spot. So overall when I compare with the three rackets that I used to play with, this is the Babula Pure Drive, uh, same 100 square inch head size and also the Yonex Ficor. Uh, I can say that this uh, Technic Fibre, uh, in terms of the comfort, yes, they will give you more comfort and more friendly to be used. But when you do strike, when you try to attack with this uh, Technic Fibre uh, T5 Isoflex, I can felt like it doesn't really give me much control like 
when I used to play with the Yonex, either Ezone or this, in this case, uh, the one that's shown in the video is the Ficor Pro. Uh, same head size. I, I think it's giving me more control, even though. And the unique thing is that the Yonex actually felt more lighter, even though it's uh, 300 gram size, interval size. Thing. So I think that's all for my review today. It's not much, but I think if you're looking for a racket that gives you a very good balance and also between the comforts and the control, I think the Technic Dubray could be a good option for that. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video.